Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to move the gameplay animation sample over to your own project. You probably want to use their movement and their new motion matching system to get around in your project. So it's pretty easy, just a couple clicks of a button and it does all the work for you. Um, so we'll do that right now. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into your content drawer, you're going to find your blueprints, and you're going to click on Asset Actions down to Migrate. You're going to click OK. Um, the project I'm going to be going to, I already have made. You got to make sure you click into Content, otherwise it won't migrate over. And they already did it, so I'm just going to click Apply to All, and we'll just remigrate it with you. I'll be back when that's done. Okay, now that we're done with that. Um, if you're worried about these being gone, all you do is click in and out and they should reappear for you. And you don't have to remake the project or copy them back over. But now we're going to go over to our project that we want to use that character in. I'll let this load quick. And so I used a blank template, but we're going to show you in this. Um, asset pack I brought over. So we're going to load up here. And you should be able to see that we have the animation blueprint and the character blueprint. So you don't have to import them both. They're both come over. And you're going to go down. You have to make a little gameplay. So go into blueprint class. Make a game mode so we can use that character. And we'll just name it test. And we'll click on it. And then we'll go down to the default pawn class, and we can use the CBP sandbox character. And if you start it, you'll notice that you don't have a couple things going on here. You get some errors. Um, what you want to do is there's some plugins that you're going to have to open. And so I got them all right here. You can pause it if you need. You can pause it right here. You can copy them all over, but what you're going to do is you're going to go into your plugin, search all these up motion, trajectory, um, some of these are uh, experimental, so you're probably not going to want to ship them yet, but if you're building a full game, it'd be good to have everything all set up. So we're going to do pose search as well, motion warping. You also need the animation warping. You need chooser. Animation. Locomotion library. A lot of these are in beta, so um, you might not want to ship your game if you're close to finishing it. You might just use your default character, but if you want to test around and use the new motion matching and the new locomotion system, uh, I think it'd be good. And deform graph. And we'll restart. We'll save that. It should restart here. And now, oh, I'm going to have to go over to Levels, go to World Settings, and make sure our game mode is set to Test, because that's the blueprint class we made for this. and then. The sandbox character, and now you should be able to play the level with the new character. As you can see, you can now run around. You're going to have to do some add some custom collisions to get everything to work perfectly, but um, that's a pretty pretty easy thing to do in a separate video. But now you can run around with a new character and use the new motion matching system in your project. Really easy. If this helped. Uh, Please like and subscribe. We'll do some more tutorials on how to add custom collisions to stairs and certain objects um, in your world if you have issues with that. But other than that, thanks guys.